most famous personality, in computer field. Every day you will be notified with a new video which improves your knowledge day by day. So, don't forget to subscribe, and click the notification bell. Steve Jobs Steve Jobs, the co-founder, and chief executive of Apple Computer. Jobs was born in 1955, in San Francisco, and during his high school years, he showed his early enthusiasm, for computing by attending after-school lectures, and attending meetings, with Wozniak. He met fellow Apple founder, Steve Wozniak, during a summer job, at HP. At the age of 21, Jobs saw a computer, that Wozniak had designed, for his own use, and convinced him, to market the product. Apple Computer, was founded as a partnership, on the 1st of April 1976. Though the initial plan, was to sell, just printed circuit boards, Jobs, and Wozniak, ended up, creating a batch of, completely assembled computers, and entered the personal computer business. Their second machine, the Apple II, was introduced the following year, and became a huge success. In 1983, Apple launched the Lisa, the first PC, with a graphical user interface, GUI. But it flopped, because of its prohibitive price. Then the following year, Apple launched, the lower-priced Macintosh, and it became the first commercially successful GUI machine. Despite his success in founding Apple, Jobs left Apple. Without Steve Jobs, Apple had stumbled. Market share fell, while it struggled to release new operating systems. On returning to Apple, Jobs drove the company, ever deeper into the consumer electronics, and computing market, launching the iMac and iPod. Steve Jobs died on 5 October 2011, after a long battle with cancer, but his place in computing history, never died. Tim Berners-Lee Tim Berners-Lee is a computer scientist, best known, as the inventor of the World Wide Web. Berners-Lee was born on, the 8th of June 1955, in London, England. His parents were, computer scientists, who worked on, the first commercially built computer, the Ferranti Mark I. He studied at, the Queen's College, Oxford, from 1973 to 1976, where he received, a first-class Bachelor of Arts degree, in physics. While at university, Berners-Lee, made a computer, out of an old television set, which he bought, from a repair shop. He worked at Plessy Telecommunications, from 1976, as a programmer, and in 1980, began working as an independent contractor, at the European Nuclear Research Center CERN. In December 1980, Berners-Lee proposed a project, based on the concept of hypertext, to facilitate sharing and updating information among researchers. While there, he built a prototype system, called Inquire. He joined CERN on a full-time basis in 1984 as a fellow. In 1989, CERN was the largest internet node, in Europe. I just had to take the hypertext idea, and connect it to the TCP, and DNS ideas, he said, and the World Wide Web, was born. He used similar ideas, to those underlying the Inquire system, to create the World Wide Web. He designed, and built, the first web browser, and editor, called World Wide Web, and developed on Next Step, and the first web server, called Hypertext Transfer Protocol Daemon, HTTPD. The first website built, was at httpinfo.cern.ch, and was put online, on the 6th of August 1991. The URL is still in use today. In 1994, Berners-Lee, founded the World Wide Web Consortium, W3C, at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He is now a professor, at University of Oxford, Department of Computer Science.
He is also a professor, at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, in the U.S. He will continue to work, on shaping, the future of the web, through his work with the World Wide Web Consortium, W3C, and the World Wide Web Foundation. He received many awards, and honors. One among them is, on the 4th of April 2017, he received the, 2016 ACM Turing Award, for inventing the World Wide Web, the first web browser. He invented the World Wide Web and created a mass medium, for the 21st century. The World Wide Web is Berners-Lee's alone. He designed it. He loosed it on the world. And he, more than anyone else, has fought, to keep it open, non-proprietary, and free. Bill Gates Bill Gates was a co-founder of Microsoft Corporation, the world's largest personal computer software company. Bill Gates, in full William Henry Gates, was born on October 28, 1955, at Seattle, Washington, United States. At school, Gates excelled in mathematics and science. Gates wrote his first software program at the age of 13. With other schoolmates, he began programming and bug fixing for the Computer Center Corporation. In 1970, Gates formed a venture with fellow school student and Microsoft co founder Paul Allen to make traffic counters using the Intel 8008 processor. In 1973, Gates enrolled at Harvard University, where he met future business partner Steve Ballmer. Their first venture was to develop a version of the basic programming language for the Altair 8800, one of the first microcomputers. Soon afterwards, Gates left Harvard to found Microsoft, which later became Microsoft Corporation, with Paul Allen. IBM the leading supplier of computer equipment to commercial enterprises approached Microsoft in July 1980 concerning software for its upcoming personal computer, the IBM PC. Microsoft delivered DOS to IBM as PC DOS for a one time fee of $50,000. But, this was the origin of Microsoft's transformation from a small business to the world's leading software company. Many other personal computer makers cloned IBM's PC hardware, running DOS. The sales of MS-DOS made Microsoft a major player in the industry. Microsoft launched its first retail version of Microsoft Windows on November 20, 1985. His ability to get Microsoft software, pre-installed on most PCs, shipped in the world made Microsoft, the world's largest software house, and Gates, one of the world's richest men. Gates married, Melinda French on, January 1, 1994. They have three children. Gates stood down as chief executive of Microsoft, in 2000, to focus on software development. On the 16th of June 2006, he announced that he would move to a part-time role with Microsoft in 2008 to focus on his philanthropic work. Gates and his wife started Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Since 2000, Gates has given away about one-third of his wealth to charity. James Arthur Gosling James Gosling is best known as the father of the Java programming language, the first programming language designed with the Internet in mind and which could adapt to highly distributed applications. James Gosling was born in 1955 near Calgary, Canada. James Gosling received a Bachelor of Science from the University of Calgary and his MA and PhD from Carnegie Mellon University, all in computer science. While working towards his doctorate, 
he created the original version, of the Emacs text editor for Unix, Cosmax. He also built a, multiprocessor version of Unix, as well as, several compilers, and mail systems. In 1984, Gosling joined Sun Microsystems, where he is currently Chief Technology Officer, in the Developer Product Group. In the early 1990s, Gosling initiated, and led a project code, named Green, that eventually became, Java. Green, aimed to develop software, that would run on a variety of computing devices, without having to be customized, for each one. Sun formally launched Java, in 1995. Gosling, did the original design of Java, and implemented its original compiler, and virtual machine. For this achievement, he was elected to the U.S. National Academy of Engineering. Gosling's success is because, Java has allowed the creation of robust, reusable code, which runs on devices as diverse as mobile phones, PCs, and mainframes. Gosling, was with Sun Microsystems, between 1984 and 2010. He left Sun Microsystems, on April 2, 2010, after it was acquired by the Oracle Corporation. He has noted that, his favorite irrational number is 2. He has a framed picture, of the first 1000 digits of 2, in his office. For more about computer, click below. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Thank you for watching Make It Easy Education.